What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I have a video here for you today talking about the Camelback Thermoback 3 liter hydration pouch and uh, kit as, as you want to call it. Um, I really like this and let me get into some of the specifics as to why. First though, I want to start and say that they don't have a humongous amount of adjustment right here for the uh, strap, uh, the, I guess the sternum strap, you know, it doesn't get very tight. Um, so I mean that's one thing that you might notice, might not, whatever, it's not a game changer. But the way I had this set up on my uh, plate carrier was I had these taken off and I had them shoved into this pouch right here. Um, and then I had I used the D-rings to attach to my plate carrier. Um, and that's how I ran it and until recently when I took it off because I'm getting rid of the plate carrier. But I'm keeping this because I really like it. You know, you're getting 100 ounces of uh, fluid. Uh, Camelback makes their own hydration solutions that don't have sugar. So it's not going to get all sticky and grimy inside of this. And you know you can use those, or you can just run water like I did. Um, a lot of different you know colors and patterns and whatever, and you know this seemed to work really good there. And then I got this on eBay like super cheap, probably like 20 bucks. And you know that's why I got this pattern because I guess not a lot of people are running the DCU, but it works good out there when I was using it. Uh, you have the uh, the grab handle here, and here's where you want to open up the Camelback pouch and put the water in. Um, no real problems there, you know, it's just like any other Camelback, put it in there and go to town, put your 100 ounces in there. You're going to get a good longevity with, you know, uh, three liters of water, you know, that's uh, three um, Nalgene bottles basically. And, you know, going to get you a pretty long way throughout the day. Now, the one thing I will notice, you know, I will tell you with this minimal, you know, insulation on this tube that it comes with, you know, you will, for people who haven't used Camelbacks and stuff, you know, I was out in over 100 degree weather for the majority of the day, you know, for a week, and, you know, this tube, you know, just so you know, that this tube will get hot, and the first probably few ounces of water that you're going to get out of this is going to be hot. Um, so, if you're not used to using Camelbacks in hot conditions, that's what you're going to get, and probably, um, you know, you're going to get hot water for the first few ounces, whatever this tube is, that's going to be all hot. Um, the other thing that you're going to notice is the quality of this, and it's top notch. You can see the stitching on this is very even, there's nothing wrong there. They're not huge, you know, um, it's not huge threading, but I mean this thing was on the back of my plate carrier, there's bumps and bruises and scrapes all over it, and you know, there's nothing, you know, there's no fraying or anything. I mean, this is some top notch stuff, nylon, uh, that you're going to get. You have, uh, you know, a flat back here. Um, nothing really to talk about there, but uh, you know, just top-notch stuff right here by Camelback. They did recently change this, and now they, the Thermoback 3 liter is where this line runs right here is actually a zipper. So this is all zippered, and it flips up, and that's how you get the pouch out. With this one, which is an, an older Thermoback uh, 3 liter, you have three snaps right here that lead to getting um, into the hydration pouch. So there's a little difference there, but as far as quality and what you're going to get, that doesn't change at all. The one thing I hate about Camelback is the fact that they put this big-ass Camelback label on. And it really irritated me with uh, my armor back, which I actually tore it off of here. It was up here, and it said Camelback right here. And they do this with all their stuff that has, like, um, camo on it. And I hate it because I'm not paying all that money to have something say Camelback this big on it. So, you know, Camelback, if you can maybe come up with some way to not put a huge freaking, you know, you can put Camelback somewhere else, maybe on the back. I don't know, maybe you're trying to advertise. But for people who are into like camo and stuff, it's annoying. You know, you're talking about a patch the size of, you know, four inches by two inches you know, right there, right in the middle, okay? It's called camouflage for a reason. Anyway, um, you have your, your handle here, so you can, uh, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, your, um, this is actually, um, this says right here that this is, you know, Cordura, DuPont, good stuff. And obviously it's good stuff because this has been dragged around the desert and, you know, in training, and it's withheld the uh, test of time. And I really like, you know, the majority of what Camelback is doing out there.
So if you guys have any questions on this thermoback, go ahead and put them down there in the questions, uh, the comments down below. If you guys have one, I know Haas does, go ahead and put your comments or video responses down below. And uh, until next time, later.